Your PC did not come with enough USB-C drives or didn't come with any USB-C drives at all, but all of your phones, your tablets, and the new iPhone 15 are all gonna be on USB-C. So how do you add USB-C ports to your PC? It's super easy as long as you use it with the PCI Express card. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have to update or replace your motherboard. And let me just show you my motherboard. I am running on a B552. And if you look at the back of my PC, there is only one USB-C port here. However, that port is pretty slow. It's actually just as fast as my USB 3.0. And I was really surprised at that. So that means a lot of motherboards, the USB-C advertised speed is not gonna be as fast as you'd hope. But I do have a solution for you guys. So we purchased one of these. So this is gonna be the StarTech 2 port USB 3.1 card, and it comes with two USB-C drives inside of it. So I'm gonna install it inside of my computer. I'm gonna show you how easy that is as long as you have an open PCI Express Bay. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, well, let's take a deeper look at my motherboard so that you can see physically, do you have a place to install this because this is gonna be so much better in terms of running multiple USB-C devices, including my keyboard, which has to use USB-C. So let's install it and let me show you how it's done. So I have two open PCI Express card slots here, and that's where I'm gonna install the StarTech card inside. You wanna make sure you ground yourself so you're not giving any charge to it. And this is the actual chip. The reason why we picked the StarTech is that it came with USB 3.1 and we saw a lot of the less expensive chips coming with 3.0. Also, it uses OEM drivers, so it's gonna be better in terms of plug and play with most of your computer system setups. So it's really easy to do. All I need to do is just pop one of these out. Now, we just have to insert this. So very simple to install this card. You might wanna place your computer flat in order to have a better angle, but for purposes of this video, I'm gonna do it upright. So once you got it lined up, all you need to do is push it in. And it will just pop right into place as you can see here. It's not long enough to be clipped into my motherboard, but your motherboard, it might be able to be clipped in. And now that we have it set, I need to take a screw and we're just gonna lock this in on the side here. And that's really it. I just installed the card. It was that simple. All I need to do is plug it in. And now I'm gonna put the cover back on. We're gonna turn on our computer. As you can see, we connected two external Samsung T7 Shield drives directly after we installed it. And it appeared right away. There was no installation, no software updates or anything that needed. It appeared right away and they are fully functional and they have 3.1 read write speeds. So. And now with the iPhone 15 going to the USB-C, everything is gonna be on USB-C soon enough and you're gonna need as many of these USB-C drives. So I hope this is an easy solution. It is the only thing that I found was easy to do, affordable and work for me. And with that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. We will get back to you. And please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. Stay with the French Glow, signing off. Bye, bye, bye.